for the final time this weekend. The green flag is out, and we are racing in K100 Senior. Buddy Vasquez Jr. already to the point. Rudolph looking to slot back in a line inside of Peyton Phillips. Ooh. A couple of contact. Jade, uh, J.D. Lamp gets collected in front of the field. Clements is off. Frank is off. And a couple of drivers get collected here at the start. Unfortunate start to a couple of their races. And that's going to end up early for a couple of these guys, Rocco. Very unfortunate for Bryce Frank and Xander Clements. Just victims of that incident right there. J.D. Lamp got turned completely around. Luckily, he didn't get stopped in front of the field. As you see, uh, Jake French go, around the, uh, go down the inside of uh, Javier Herrera for P4. Um... Now, uh, Jesus Vasquez Jr., Phillips, and Aiden Rudolph, three drivers who we always see up in the front fighting each other, are your top three, and they're pulling away from Jake French. Peyton Phillips, your most recent race winner at Crescent, Texas. Uh, Aiden Rudolph, your championship points leader by just 11 points as Dallas Dunlap drops a tire, gets a bumper from behind from Cohen Summers. There, and these two drivers fighting it out here. Summers going to move him out of the way. Looking on the inside, Summers able to get clear. But again, Buddy Vasquez Jr., second on the championship, only 11 points back to Aiden Rudolph here in this one. And he's uh, looking to take the championship points lead before they get to Amarillo, Texas. If he keeps fading down to the inside, it'll be kind of strange to uh, agree. So you see Peyton Phillips now go down to the inside after that with Aiden Rudolph following through. Jesus Vasquez Jr. falls all the way down to P3. Jake French has to follow through into P4. So your, four, your top four have shuffled around in order. Hard place to pass and French just couldn't get it done. There goes Pagano on the inside of Herrera. Pagano's able to get clear. He's up to P5. There goes Vasquez on the inside for P2. He's able to get clear. Rudolph drops the tire into the dirt. He slots back into fourth. French going to slot back into the third spot, but got to be careful with how much you fight. We saw Rudolph pull away there in the first heat race. Whenever Jake French got around Aiden Rudolph there last lap ago, they uh, fell back. And Aiden Rudolph now go down the inside of Jake French into the first hairpin. Will there be any switchbacks? No, there will not. So now that the shuffle, they've been shuffled uh, around, they look over their shoulders, they really need to work together to catch these two up in front. We even end up sounding like broken records here, but it's uh, it couldn't be more true, especially in a class like this with very, very hungry wolves. And you see it there, Pagano on the inside of Jake French. Oh. The X-Demons get together. Pagano's off the racetrack and out of the race. Jake French out of this one early as well. He's in the middle of the racetrack. Everybody trying to avoid the factory cart machine there. These two drivers out of contention here early. Unfortunate for Pagano, unfortunate for French, but the young guns are gonna run away with it here. Herrera currently sits in fourth, and your three championship points leaders, it's a risk versus reward, and you wouldn't be expecting to see them risk too much here. Open up his gap, I'm sorry, to Buddy Vasquez Jr. Vasquez on the inside, and it's turn number three. He's able to get clear. Rudolph in the third spot is able to slot back in, and he's definitely showed his pace. The kid from California has put on the fight to all these drivers as Rudolph goes on the inside of Peyton Phillips to get up to second. Rudolph isn't yet a Texas Sprint Racing Series champion. He's been close many, many times finishing on the podium before, but not a championship to his name yet. I know Hedges Vasquez Jr. sometimes would cover off a corner just to uh, maintain that lead and control the race because that's exactly what we saw from him in Crescent and it benefited him for the most of the race. As you see Aiden Rudolph get around uh, uh, there for the lead and you see Vasquez go back down the inside into turn four for the lead. So Vasquez back to the lead. Peyton Phillips has been sitting in that third place position this whole time and now you can see Herrera getting closer and closer every single time we come around to that middle straight. You can see him exit the corner right behind them earlier and earlier so uh, setting in flyer after flyer here as he tries to close down his gap to the top four what does Rudolph do does he go does he wait he's gonna go in turn number three on the inside he's able to get clear Aiden Rudolph to the point Buddy Vasquez back to second Peyton Phillips goes to third Rudolph now gonna look to defend here slightly move to the bottom of the racetrack Buddy looking low not going to be enough room to get through, but four cars in this lead train, and help has arrived here for Aiden Rudolph. To see them overtaking each other every every uh, few corners, because all it does is slow down this lead group and benefit the second group. As you see, Hayes Vasquez Jr. shoot down the inside of Aiden Rudolph, a late lunge. Peyton Phillips, too, with the switch pack, tries to get a nose down to Hayes Vasquez Jr. He has to give room as Peyton Phillips takes the lead. Aiden Rudolph and Herrera, his teammate, push through to take second and third. Jesus Vasquez Jr. in the blink of an eye goes from first all the way down to fourth place. A couple of hairpins. Rudolph going to look. Has a good run this time by. Does he fade low? Not close enough this time by. What about the last corner? Is Rudolph going to go for it? Going to stay in line. But Buddy Vasquez looking to split up the CRG Norton machines. And he does. Buddy taps the back of his helmet. But unfortunate there. I don't think you're going to get the help that you want. Let's see if Aiden shoots down the inside. Coming into turn three. He will. And down the inside goes Aiden Rudolph and covers it. So Peyton Phillips let him by, basically lifted through the corner to let him back through and see Aiden Rudolph pointing forward, tuck his head down. Peyton Phillips is going to work together with him 
to try and pull away from Jesus Vasquez Jr., but I don't think it's that easy because that kid is really, really fast in Crescent. It's always these drivers fighting for the win. So as they come around, you see Vasquez now down the inside of Peyton Phillips. Herrera is going to follow through, and Peyton Phillips gets pushed a little bit to the outside. You see Herrera give a bit of a bit of an apology there going through the last corner. And now he's uh, he was set for a full year. He's set for a full move into turn number one. He's able to get clear. Rudolph looking to over under. Who's Herrera going to push here? He's looking. Can, Va uh, can Rudolph get clear into turn number five? Can't get it done there. Going to slot back in a second. But uh, I'll tell you what, Buddy is not going to have the best of luck because Javier Herrera has arrived on the scene and he's there to help Rudolph. See Aiden Rudolph in the draft now. He's probably going to send it again. They've been doing it every single lap. So a big oh, send. Cool. You saw him get sideways there deep on the brakes for the lead. And Aiden Rudolph gets up to P1. Herrera trying to get to P2 but has a nose, does the Hayes Vasquez Jr. does. But uh, holding around the outside goes Herrera and gets or holds that P2 position. That's exactly what you want to see if you're you and Jeffrey on the fence line watching your drivers one and two and Vasquez Jr. is stuck now behind Peyton Phillips and a big gap in between these two drivers with the closing stages of this race but the Arcane Motorsports machine of Justin Music and Beckett Friesen aren't too far off there goes Phillips on the inside of Herrera he's able to get clear and he's up to second Herrera falls back to fourth but here comes Justin Music and Beckett Friesen the two rookies who moved up from junior last year buddy on the inside of Phillips looking over under they go side by side Hands in the air. They're kind of confused as to why they're fighting for second here. And uh, they're going to have to negotiate it here because Aiden Rudolph is running away with just about a minute to go here. That gap is absolutely massive. Made all of, made all that uh, progress up to the fight up in the front. As you see Herrera now go down the inside of uh, Peyton Phillips for P3. Rudolph has to push with everything that he's got to keep that GMC driver at bay in the turn number three. Buddy closes the gap here. Rudolph going to look over his shoulder, see that GMC get closer and closer every single corner he's gonna fight and push with everything that he's got and the same thing applies to the california kid that looks to take another win on the year here in texas you see aiden rudolph look over his shoulder he covers down thinking vasquez was a little bit closer i don't think he really needed to do that he covers again jesus vasquez jr tries to get the switch back white flag this time by aiden rudolph looks over your shoulder you see jesus vasquez jr throw his head down goes down to the inside of turn two takes the lead aiden rudolph tries to get the switch back and he has to just push and uh Goes to the outside. You see Hazen Vasquez Jr. cover off completely on the inside. And a switch back move from Aiden Rudolph. This is the, these are the two best drivers in the state of Texas at the moment. Rudolph around the outside looking to go on Jesus Vasquez Jr. Can he make it stick? A lot of grip around there. Aiden Rudolph looking to set up an over-under. He gets it done nicely. He's in the draft. What can he do? What can Payton Payne Phillips do to try and help out Rudolph here? He has one more chance, two more chances to get it done. But Payton Phillips is really close. Rudolph on the inside of the chicane. Not close enough to get it done in there. What does Rudolph have left in store? Can he fade low? But he's going to defend middle of the racetrack. Peyton Phillips isn't too far off either. What is Rudolph? Can he get an over-under? I don't think it's going to be close enough. Buddy Vasquez Jr. wins in Cato Mills. Aiden Rudolph comes across the line in second. Peyton Phillips tried to get the switch back like he did in Crescent, but it didn't work out that way, and he finishes in third.